Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the all-new synthetic jacket from Rab, the Cirrus Ultra. The original Cirrus was released in 2018 and since then has become a staple in the outdoor industry for a high-performing synthetic jacket. This year, Rab aimed to take it a step further with the introduction of the Rab Cirrus Ultra, a jacket designed for those who are looking to push the limits of what synthetic jacket is capable of. So before we get into the individual features of the jackets, let's talk about the materials that they're using and also the thing that makes this jacket so special, the insulation. Okay, so we're gonna start on the outer and then move our way in. The outer fabric is a 20 denier Pertex Quantum Pro recycled fabric. This is a really nice tight weave which comes with a number of advantages. The first thing to know about uh, Quantum Pro is the reason it's using a lot of insulated jackets is it allows the insulation inside to loft really well. It's got a bit of give to it just to allow that all to loft up and help keep you warm. It also comes with a DWR coating, which helps with what we're gonna talk about now, which is that Quantum Pro fabrics have a really good level of water resistance, wind resistance, and snow resistance. So because of that DWR coating, and because of the way the fibers are very tightly woven together, this will give you a certain level of protection against very light rain, light wind, and also light snow as well. Going on to the inside of the jacket, we are also met with a 10 denier Quantum Pro fabric, so a lighter weight fabric because there's not as much chance of this getting scuffed and scraped as the outer has. They've gone for a lighter weight fabric just to reduce the weight of the jacket overall. Now it's time to talk about what makes this jacket really interesting, and that's the insulation that they're using inside it and why they decided to use it. So they're using Primaloft's Thermo Plume insulation in this jacket, and they're using 247 grams of it. This is a blown insulation that is made by Primaloft and is designed to mimic down as closely as possible while also getting the benefits of a synthetic insulation. So this insulation here mimics down really, really well. It's not giving you all the benefits, it's not quite as light and it's probably not quite as packable, but when compared to more traditional synthetic insulations, this is gonna pack down a lot smaller, it's gonna be a lot lighter, and it's gonna help regulate your temperature a lot better, borrowing a lot of those attributes that we really like from down. Now it's really hard to show you when we've just got a jacket sat in front of me. So I think the best way to demonstrate this is by turning off the lights and then just turning on one light. Now that we've turned the lights off and we've got the jacket illuminated, you can really see these little plumes of synthetic insulation in there and how closely they resemble traditional down. If we put this next to a more traditional synthetic insulation jacket, you'll be able to see the difference really clearly. More traditional synthetic insulated jackets are normally much larger pack sizes than their down equivalents and they also don't regulate your temperature as well. However, synthetic insulation has become increasingly popular over the last few years because of how well it deals with moisture, and being in the UK, that is a really important factor. What the Cirrus Ultra aims to do is combine all the things you know and love from down and put them into a synthetic jacket that deals with the elements and the damp a lot, lot better. However, Thermo Plume is not the only insulation being used here. In some of those high wear areas, like the armpits, we're also seeing a sheet insulation. This is used because this is less likely to migrate in those high wear, high usage areas. Now that we've shown you that, let's get these lights back on and carry on talking about what is inside this jacket to make it so special. Not only are they using Primaloft Thermo Plume, they're also using their patented tilt liner. And what this is is a reflective film which runs on the inside of the jacket to help reflect heat back towards your body. This is a fabric rather than like a tin foil, which means it's very quiet, you can't hear it inside the jacket but it gives you that instant warmth factor when you throw the jacket on. These two elements coupled together gives you a really nice lightweight jacket that's capable of dealing with moisture really, really well, while also being packable and lightweight. Now let's talk about fit. Both of these jackets run under Rab's regular fit, so it's a more relaxed fitting jacket, meaning you can put a few layers underneath it if you need to, and it's not as tapered around the hips and chest. We'll put an example of this on the screen now with the model's height and size so you can get a rough idea of how these jackets fit. Now it's time to talk features, and these will be the same both on the men's and the women's version of the Cirrus Ultra. What we'll do is we'll start at the top and make our way down just like normal. So on this jacket, we have got a nice helmet compatible hood with multiple points of adjustment to make sure that you can get it tapered down if you choose not to wear it with a helmet. We've got this wired brim at the front here just to keep the elements off your face and keep the jacket resting away from your face so it's more comfortable to wear. Our first adjustment points are located inside the jacket and are concealed to avoid any snag risks uh, if you use this jacket for climbing or anything where there's a risk of getting snagged or caught on things. And it's a simple adjustment in here used by dragging that in and tightening the front of the hood. The rear of the hood is adjusted via a little bit of elastic here so it doesn't need any adjustment by you, but it will stretch and adapt to the shape and size of your head, 
but also if you're wearing a helmet as well. Coming back round to the front, we've got a YKK Vizlon zip, so a really high quality zip, and this is a two-way zipper as well, so you can undo it from the top, you can also undo it from the bottom. Reason for undoing it from the bottom would be either to ventilate the jacket a little bit, maybe you've got a bit warm in your jacket and you want to let some warm air out, but it's also that if you're uh, belaying and just at the bottom of a crag, you can open the bottom, wear the jacket and have your belay loop poking out, so you continue to do that belaying while still in your warm jacket. When it comes to Vizlon zips, it's also worth mentioning their reliability even when broken. So if you're out using this jacket in extreme conditions and the zip was to malfunction or break, um, you were to lose a couple of teeth, this zip will still do up, which is really important when the jacket's being used in very cold conditions. The last thing you want to do is break a couple of teeth off of your jacket, maybe through misuse or try to get the zip up done up nice and quick, uh, and then not be able to put your jacket on and get really, really cold. So a nice little safety feature and also a bit of peace of mind when you go out on the hill. On the inside, we see a nice chin guard, a nice soft chin guard to add some additional comfort to the jacket. Uh, just a little bit nicer for wearing long periods of time, especially in cold conditions. That resting against your face is much better than the um, fabric of the jacket. Continuing down, we're met by the first of our pockets. Both of these are located on the chest and are using YKK zippers and they've got a little storm flap over them just to keep them nice and safe, secure and out of the way. Uh, again, to keep any snag hazards out of the way as well. Uh, these pockets are easily big enough for things you might want to keep close to hand. Probably not quite big enough for a map, but probably not the intended purpose of the jacket. Um, but you can easily fit some snacks in here, uh, your phone, your wallet, um, your keys, anything like that. Moving down, we've met by our next two pockets, which are your lower portion pockets. And these both use a YKK zipper as well. One of these pockets also can be turned inside out and the jacket can be stuffed into it for easy storage. And attached to that is a little hoop for attaching it to your harness if you want to climb with it on you so that when you get to the top, you can throw it on and be nice and warm. Coming down our sleeves, we are met by an elasticated cuff. So there's no adjustment point on the cuff like you've seen a lot of other jackets we've spoken about with the Velcro. This has just got a nice elasticated uh, cuff that will fit you nice and easy. Super easy to get on over the top of gloves because um, it obviously just stretches to accommodate and it also gets a really nice secure seal around the bottom of your arm no matter what you're wearing. This is a good point to mention uh, Rab's attention to detail and thinking about the small problems and small issues and finding ways to fix them. One thing you'll notice about this cuff, not only is it elasticated, but the elastic is actually slightly inside the cuff, so it's sort of double back on itself. And what this allows Rab to do is bring the insulation up right to the end of the cuff, meaning that there's no cold spots around your wrist, um, and it just allows that cuff to be extended all the way down, covering the top of your hand and keeping you a little bit warmer. Little things like that make a big difference when you're out on the hill. Making our way down to the base of the jacket, we're then met by a two-point adjustment on the hem of the jacket. Um, this just allows you to tighten in the hips and get a really nice snug fit to help seal that warm air in and make sure none of it escapes. So there you have it, the Cirrus Ultra, the perfect jacket for anyone who's looking for the best of the best when it comes to synthetic insulation. Perfect to keeping you warm even in damp conditions. If you've got any questions about the jacket, leave it down in the comment section below. And like always, it really helps us if you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.